I want to talk about the differences between uh, small, medium, and large, and now mega classes. So for me, a small class is one where I really know the students. I know their names, their faces, and really what their aspirations are. Uh, I, can, I can do all of the assessments in that course myself. Uh, for a medium course, I still recognize the students. I know most of their names and their faces, but I may, I, I, most of the class, I won't know everything about those students. I don't, won't know what their aspirations are. I can, in a pinch, do all of the assessments myself, but to really maintain the same quality without stretching myself too far, I like having assistance. Like in my medium class now, about 48 students, I do all of the tests and exams, TAs do quizzes, and, and the lab report. Uh, in a large class, I now won't be able to know everyone's name. Uh, there may be a few students I get to know their names, but it, I'm not going to know all their names. I'm going to recognize their faces for the most part and say, oh yeah, that student's in one of my classes. I'm really going to have to begin to rely on a team to, to help with the assessments if I'm going to maintain my standards of, of assessment. In, but it's still pretty easy to manage the interactions in the course. In a mega class, um, and I, for me, this goes over about 200 students. Um, I'm not even sure who's in my classes. I mean, when, I'm, when we're there together, yeah, I recognize them, but I'm not going to recognize them around the campus. There's a sea of faces, right? So the real challenge is, is to when I'm interacting with them, to not make it seem like I'm just waving over a sea of, a sea of faces, but that I am looking at and interacting with them individually, at least in class. Um, but now the team is essential. I have to develop a good team and alternative ways to have real human interactions in the course, because they can't all be me student. They're going to have to be student-student, student-team members.